Today, the guest artist is my friend Kelly McDonald, and you might be hungry after watching this. Let's get started. All right, Kelly does not only paint food, but I thought I would show some of her food pictures to begin with. I have some of her donuts in my collection, and they're very affordable, and I think she's having a sale right now before Christmas, so you might go to her Kelly McDonald Fine Art site and see what there is. I just find these incredibly captivating. She really knows how to make something look delicious, <laughs> And she's got the textures right. She's also very good at composition. She's no beginner to painting. She's been painting for a long time, and it really shows. And that's what you get when you hire a real pro, you know? But she can't really be categorized because she does landscapes, and, and um, I've seen her do people. I, I can't think of any subject that she probably hasn't done. She does travel, and so she will paint when she travels. There's something so accessible about her work. You just feel like it belongs. It belongs in your home. It's, there's nothing that is, um, you know, I think it's museum quality work. Uh, there's no question about that for me, but you don't get that feeling that you would get that it's so precious that you, you have to be careful around it. You know, it's, it's comfortable. But I don't mean comfortable in a sloppy way. I mean comfortable in just that you're, you're taken care of. You're in Kelly's world and you're taken care of. You don't have to worry about a thing. And not only that, but she really brings the fun. And that's part of her personality anyway. If you follow her on Facebook or, um, or any place else, she just has a, a, she has a full life with a husband and these adorable dogs and just a lot of living. I think she's, she's uh, as Oprah would say, living her best life. That's kind of a cliche, but uh, for me as a watcher, it certainly seems like there's no uh, wall between her art and her life that she paints from what moves her. And, and, and you can feel that. I mean, you can feel that when you look at the subjects. She brings, she's, she really brings the love and, and attention to this that she brings to the love and attention to her friends and family. It's just, it's undeniable. And so when you buy a piece of your art, her art, you're getting that as well. Uh, that's really an added benefit for sure. Here's a more sophisticated subject. And look at the real smartness of the composition of that. You get these all these triangles going on because she's moved the glass just slightly over to the left. I just love the simplicity of that. But, but don't think for a second that this is easy to do. Just because it, it's simple, the subject is simple, it's not easy to do at all. It takes years and years and years of painting to be able to make it look like it was effortless. And that's, that's also the sign of being in a, a pro's hand. Now the next picture that's coming up is her, of her beloved Paco. <laughs> if you follow her, you will hear some Paco stories. Paco's getting to be a certain age, which is, you know, unfortunate. We're, we're dog lovers and, and dogs age out, and he's certainly getting to be a, of an older age. But look at the shape of that. Oh, God, I just, I just love that image. And who wouldn't, who wouldn't love that, to have that in their art collection? Here's, uh, I, think a, I think this might be a larger piece. I'm not sure, but this would be an example of one of the paintings that she would do when she's out doing plein air painting or perhaps gone. Um, she lives near Boston, Massachusetts, and um, will go off to the Cape or up to Maine. Uh, she also travels down to South America about once a year, too. And you can imagine that all the different subjects that come from that and the different colors and whatnot. But look at how calm and peaceful this is. And like I said, I always make an, uh, um, nicknames for artists that I love, and I just feel like she's the, I'm taking care of you artist. She just takes care of you. <laughs> you're, like I said, you're in good hands. She also does abstract paintings, and look at the exuberance of this. All of, uh, you, there, something about abstract art, I think in particular, will reflect somebody's personality because there's no subject to hide behind. And that's just joyful and exuberant. And I don't know how you could put that on your wall and not look at it and smile every day. And here's another one. So check her out at Kelly McDonald Fine Art, and I will put her link in, in the description below. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and What's my sign off? I suddenly forgot it. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white and your paint wet. Master value mixed for color. I remembered it. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.